Micah, DCFS confirming today it has wrapped up its investigation. The letter it sent to the Archdiocese says after a thorough evaluation, DCFS has determined the report to be unfounded. This means that credible evidence of child abuse or neglect was not found during this investigation. This does not necessarily mean that an incident did not occur. So to clarify, a DCFS spokesperson says the agency can only determine whether there is a current child victim and does not investigate allegations made by adult victims. Flager was removed from the parish in January after two brothers came forward accusing him of sexually abusing them more than 40 years ago. In a statement today, their attorney said neither of the brothers provided statements to DCFS and the findings have no bearing on their legal proceedings. Church members and some community leaders have been rallying in support of Flager. They want him reinstated now. We want to make make them aware that we're not one of those. Uh, we're not that kind of church that just sits back, and and you know even though we want to respect the process, but we also want them to expedite it as fast as they can, so that we can get back to normal. Somebody knows. The Archdiocese is now investigating, saying every allegation is first reported to civil authorities and they wait until after those authorities finish their work to make sure they have no objection to the church starting its probe. A spokesperson for the Archdiocese says there's no time frame for them to finish and Father Flager will remain away from the parish pending the outcome. Now, Flager says he is innocent of these allegations, but the attorney for the accusers says more troubling evidence against Flager will be presented in the coming days. Reporting live tonight outside St. Sabina Church, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. Thank you, Gaynor. We'll have more headlines in just a moment. But first, let's